Hi everybody, we'll be starting with mensuration for ICC 10 and uh, as your syllabus mentions, we'll only do cylinder and cone. Sphere is not in your syllabus. Uh, we'll start with cylinder. Now when you see this figure, H is the height of the cylinder and R is the radius of the cylinder. Okay, so this is the height and this is the radius. If we have to calculate CSA or LSA, now CSA and LSA both are same. CSA means curved surface area. LSA means lateral surface area. So the formula here is 2 pi RH. Now uh, pi shall be mentioned in your question paper or if it is not mentioned then you can put pi equal to 22 by 7. Okay. And it is also mentioned 3.2. 1.4. Now TSA, that is total surface area. Now total surface area means curved surface area plus area of these two circles. See, this is the curved surface area, right? And these are the two circles that we have to add. So as to get total surface area. So this will be 2 pi r h plus 2 pi r square since area of this circle is pi r square and this circle is pi r square pi r square plus pi r square which is equal to 2 pi r square right. So we have taken out uh, 2 pi r common and then the formula will be 2 pi r into h plus r. The volume of this cylinder is pi r square h. And if you want to purchase a mathematics ebook for ICC 10th, which has full syllabus notes, that is chapter wise notes, formulas, all formulas are covered with expected questions and it's solved. You can buy it from the link in the description box. You can also ask for samples. Samples will be provided by that number. Now we'll move on to hollow cylinder. Now this is hollow cylinder. You can see that there is a cylinder inside a cylinder. Now it has all the formulas similar to the original cylinder. Uh, you just have to put both the radius of cylinders. I'll tell you how to learn the formulas. See R is the external radius, right? This is the external radius. The outer cylinder and its radius. Then uh, small r is the radius of the inner cylinder, internal radius. H is the height of the cylinder. Now this is same both for the outer and the inner cylinder. Now thickness of cylinder will be, see this is r and this portion is r for the inner cylinder. So thickness will be this part, right? That means r minus small r, capital R minus small r. So this will be the thickness of the uh, cylinder. Then area of cross section that will be pi capital R square minus r square. Ex external CSA that is external curved surface area. Now normally the curved surface area is 2 pi rh. So, so we will just write 2 pi. In this case capital R will be placed. Why? Because we are talking about external CSA. And internal means the small r will be placed. Radius of internal cylinder. TSA that is total surface area. Now this will be curved surface area of both the cylinders. Adding both of them. And the area of two circles. Right? That will be 2 pi r square minus r square. I'll tell you how I wrote this. In this case, you can see there are two circles. One is this and one is this. So this is small r and this is capital R. Right? So area of this circle will be pi capital R square minus small r square. 
normally we write area of circle that is pi r square but in this case we have uh, internal cylinder also and external cylinder also so we'll be writing pi r square minus r square so when we add both of them it becomes 2 pi r square minus r square that is why i wrote this here. Now volume of cylinder is uh, normally pi r square h, right? In this case, we will write pi. Now r square, that is capital, minus small r square into the height. We will have to uh, replace this r with capital R square minus small r square. You know it very well why I did this. Now we'll move to cone. And uh, you can see the height of the cone is denoted by h. The radius of the cone is denoted by small r. And this is the slant height. It is denoted by n. Normally h is perpendicular to r. In all the cases for cone. Right? H is perpendicular to R. Now we can apply Pythagoras theorem here. That means L square is equal to H square plus R square. Hypotenuse square is equal to base square plus height square. Right? Perpendicular square. So uh, we'll take uh, under root on both sides. We'll get L is equal to under root of H square plus R square. Out surface area here will be pi r l okay uh, if uh, they have not provided you l you will have to find it by this formula sometimes you need r that's not provided then you'll have to convert this formula like this r square is equal to you will take h square here and r is equal to under root of l square minus h square so you can find all these values if two values are given right CSA that is pi RL, then TSA that is um, CSA plus the area of circle pi RL plus pi R square. Pi R, we have taken common, L plus R. Now volume is 1 by 3 pi R square. Now you can also have a look on this table. You will study cuboid because some mixed questions are also there in uh, the back exercise then cube study volume and curved surface area total surface area write a circular cylinder we have already discussed about it write circular cone sphere and hemisphere are not in status right that you can note is Sometimes they will ask you the capacity of the cylinder or the cone. That means the volume itself. Okay. So capacity is the volume. Now we will start with some uh, previous year questions of board examination. And this is from 2018. So a cylindrical vessel is 132 centimeter. That means 2 pi r h is given that is equal to 132 centimeter and please note down the units that are provided if it is in meter or in centimeter you will have to convert all these units in the same um, measurement okay so uh, the height is mentioned 25 centimeter you will put this value here and pi is already given 22 by 7 H is 25. Have to calculate this. So R is equal to 21 centimeter. First part is over. Second part. Volume of cylinder. Formula is pi R square. H. You'll have to learn all these formulas. Make sure that you have a formula notebook. 22 by 7, multiply 21 square, multiply h, that is 25. This is 3, 
फोर सिक्स फाइव जीरो सेंटीमीटर क्यूब This is an important question and it is repeatedly asked in board examination. Two solid cylinders of radius two centimeter and four centimeter are melted and recast into a cone of height eight centimeter. First, these two solid cylinders, radius given two centimeter and four centimeter, they are melted. Okay. and they are recasted into a cone of height 8 cm now you have to find the radius of the cone so form in this case you will have to keep the volume of these two cylinders equal to the volume of cone form okay every time this question comes melting and recasting question you will have to put both the volumes equal now volume of two cylinder that will be we will write it individually the first cylinder has a radius 2 so this will be pi r square h okay i'll just uh, put the values that will be pi r square h plus and it has a uh, the same height also that is 2 since this was a sphere question uh, i'll have to change it so it is cylinder and height is 2 r square h then pi r square h that will be 2 equal to volume of cone is 1 by 3 r square that is uh, not given h is 8 now we can take pi common and they will be cancelled so this will be 8 plus 16 into 2 that is 32 equal to 1 8 by 3 r square after solving this you will get r square equal to 15 now under root So the value of R will be three point eight seven centimeter. If you analyze the past year papers, uh, you will come to know that most of the questions of mensuration are directly formula based. They'll uh, provide you the data like radius, height, slant height, and ask you the volume of the cone, then total surface area of the cone. So they will ask you these basic questions. You will just have to. put the uh, values in the formula and evaluate the answer so uh, you can also refer to past year papers and make sure that uh, you write the correct units if it is in centimeter cube or meter or anything else right and calculations uh, must be correct please do not uh, do any kind of blunders while calculating Thank you for watching this video. I will be coming up with more chapters. We'll complete the syllabus soon, and uh, I have provided the link of the ebook in the description box. If you wa uh, want to buy other ebooks of chemistry, computer, English language, then you can buy that too. Have a good day. Bye.